If you're looking for a little adventure on Maui, then take the road to Hana. This is the ultimate Hawaiian road trip. I'm going to show you what to do, wow. where to stop along the way, wow. where to stay when you get there, oh oh. and what to do when you are there. Awesome. So buckle up. It's a two hour drive of a winding coastline, roadside stands, Big. delicious food, Holy. gorgeous scenery, and breathtaking accommodations. This is the road to Hana. <laughs> Again, I ask, how long would Mark survive in the jungle? <laughs> <laughs> the city slicker is doing not too bad. The road to Hana is an unforgettable road trip and something you should definitely take the time to do when visiting Maui. The drive is beautiful, but it's also full of hairpin turns. So while you can do it in a day, I wouldn't recommend it. On the drive, you'll see waterfalls and rushing rivers, picturesque coastline, rainbow eucalyptus trees, and even lava tubes you can crawl into and explore. For me, the best part of the drive was stopping at the delicious food stands along the way, starting with Auntie Sandy's famous banana bread. All right, so we were a little nervous that little old Aunt Sandy wasn't making her banana bread today. We thought it might be closed from COVID. However, it looks like it's not. Hi, how are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Good, aloha. So we heard this is the world famous banana bread. Thank you guys. So we wanted to check this out. A little bit closer. <laughs> Hey guys. Hi, <laughs> just one. Oh, wow, that's a big banana bread. Yeah, guys, so it comes in a loaf, and for the loaf, it's $7. Okay, perfect. So, who's Aunt Sandy? Auntie Sandy is Auntie Tammy's mom, which is uh, kind of like her grandma's She's retired. She is retired. Guys. But her memory lives on, yeah. and the tradition yeah. of the banana bread Stays lives on. home, watch the great grandkids. <laughs> Auntie Sandy's famous banana bread. Wow. And it is piping hot. It is hot and you can see the steam in here. It looks incredible. And it smells so good. Wow. Look at that. All right, we want to show you what Aunt Sandy's banana bread looks like. It is moist, it is piping hot, and it looks like this. Even the bugs want it, it's that good. Mm. <laughs> I hate flies. It is delicious. Try it. Mm. Delicious, it is moist, it feels super buttery, but it might be coconut oil or something like that instead, I don't know, but it is delicious, whatever they're using. And you know what? Love and memory. I always say it, two of the best ingredients, you taste them in here. Stop at Aunt Sandy's stand for her famous banana bread. Don't miss it. Our next stop was to Coconut Glens in Nahiku, a sweet spot for organic, vegan ice cream. And it was our lucky day because we were met by Glenn himself. Are you Glenn? I'm Glenn. Hey, Glenn. Hi. I'm Mark. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How do you look like that and eating all that ice cream? <laughs> oh, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep up with yourself. You look great. You know I mean? Awesome. You. Come on over. Thank you. It's all vegan. It's all organic. Awesome. From traditional flavors like chocolate and vanilla to the original flavor, coconut, with chunks of coconut, even medicinal creations like Glen salted caramel with kava root from Mulakai, a natural muscle relaxer. I pulled a muscle in my back, so I'm kind of oh. interested in trying maybe that medicinal. Dude, it's on. That's what you want. So this is like salted caramel. Okay. That's Ooh. the flavor. Wow. Salted caramel with, and it's got uh, kava root grown on Molokai. So wow. it's like real deal stuff, real medicine. How awesome. Yeah, wow, like, this is fantastic. Boom, coconut flakes. So this is the it's original. Mm -hmm. It's got coconut, coconut milk. It's got, there's two ingredients in that, and it's, it's organic coconut and it's organic sugar. It's going to be a little bit hard. No, it's here. perfect, actually. Right. Consistency feels amazing. Here we go. Mm. This is really good. <laughs> it is worth the drive to get here <laughs> on your way to Hana. 
do not pass this up. This is the best coconut ice cream I've ever had, and it's vegan. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Salted caramel, fix my back, baby. The ice cream was seriously so good. You know, right now it's been this really exclusive, if you will, humbly speaking, kind of thing out here. This phenomenon out here in the in the middle of nowhere, and really connect with what was speaking to me. That is to bring this all out to the world. Great. Well, you're doing a great job. Well, thank, thank you so much. And this is Willie. Hi, my Willie. Whine, my whining oh, cat. hi. Oh. Wow. Well, this is definitely a place you need to stop at when you come to Maui. And definitely check out Coconut Glens if you want some of the most unique and delicious vegan ice cream around. Over and out. About four minutes down the road, you'll come to a host of eateries and shops. And the one you want to visit is Kai's Coconut Stand. From fresh fruit and vegetables to coconuts and coconut candy, Thank it's you. a delicious mm. stop. Put it right here. And with nothing or no one around except for a bunch of coconuts and a machete, let's just say I put my jungle survival skills to the test. People, that's what you're supposed to be drinking. All right. <laughs> oh yeah. Delicious. Again, I ask, how long would Mark survive in the jungle? <laughs> <laughs> this city slicker is doing not too bad. Look at that, huh? Yeah, look at it. Yes. My first coconut machete. Mm. Look at this. Nice. And then just eat the flesh? Yeah, but you gotta cut it in way smaller pieces. Now you Ladies gotta, first. You gotta cut it again. Why? Because how are you gonna get that? With my teeth. Yeah, but you gotta cut it into way smaller pieces. <laughs> After a valiant attempt of Mark versus the coconut, we met Kai, who took us on a delicious tour of his stand. I try to just uh, bring everything from the farm to the table, you know what I mean, to the fruit stand. It's a uh, fresh produce, 14 acre farm, organically grown uh, coconuts and produce. So. Welcome. To really guys. cool experience. Yeah. Aloha. Appreciate Aloha. you guys stopping yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. I'm Mark. That's Amy. Mark. Kai. Hi, and Kai. My buddy Kahanu. Aloha. Hi, Kahanu. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, I got to unload. And you're some bringing all the good stuff in. Yeah, wow. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. My farm is, like I said, it's all organic. It's farm. awesome. And, uh, it's you don't get fresher than this. No, I tried Holy to bring it up here, smokes. And, Look uh, at that. It's awesome. Got fresh bananas. These, these are the coconuts we use for the candy here. Really? Um, these ones are fully matured. You can hear the water in them. So I basically, I husk them out like this. We take this and, uh, you know, these are wow. fresh coconuts and then basically husk them and then ice them for the ones that are younger. These ones are for the candy right here. I take these and then take the husk off and I'll prep them for wheel and then, um, when he comes up here in the afternoons, easy because he's a, you know, he doesn't really rise early. This is a, and all he has to do is cut, break them in half and then uh, slice them in the, and put them in the oven, yeah, and season them. Oh my gosh. So the coconut that you just saw us eat yep. is actually inside there. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll crack this one so you guys can see. These ones are. I, uh, I, I, you know, I pick them for Will, and then I, I prep them like this, and then what he'll do is he'll come up here, and he'll crack it, you know, he'll, he'll give it a, wow, go around it like that, and then, uh, one more crack here, I got it, <gasps> and it, it's oily here at wow. this point, though, if you try it, it's kind of oily, but, um, this is, this is the mature coconut, so the meat's good for candy, yeah? Wow, a little bit different than how I did it. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> yeah. I take a butter knife and then um, the theory behind this is uh, you stick this right in here and uh, push, push in and turn and push and turn and then it, it kind of breaks through. Oh wow, through. so when, there's, a, there's a right way to do this. Yeah, once you get a, a little spot for it to go, like uh, to break it out of here, and then you just go around it and it'll, you know, it comes out, comes out like this. Yeah, I've been doing it my life here, born and raised. Really? Wow. Yep. 
It's a beautiful yeah. life, isn't it? Amazing, self-sustaining. You know, it's, I'm glad tourism's back. I mean, it was we are a, too. It was a little slow there. We were holding on for a few months now. But uh, I appreciate you guys stopping in. I got some citrus in the car once I'm done with this. So Great. Give you guys some oranges and some tangerines from my farm. Excellent. Wow, that is nice. That is a lot better <laughs> doing it this way. <laughs> wow. Here, you want to taste? Mm -hmm. I love coconut milk. I once saw a Thai, thai lady husk that thing with her teeth and wow. then crack it open with her elbow. I hope they have good dental insurance. That is an avocado. Holy yes. smokes. Wow. You guys want to try it? Yeah, look at that. This is also on the farm, organic. See, uh, they're stringless, you know, they're butter pears. Uh, pretty amazing fruit right here. Oh, look at that. No strings wow. in it. Wow. And then uh, I'll just put that off to the yep. side. And then here you guys are. Wow, try beautiful. That. Thank you. Yep. That is delicious. Yeah, good one, Jeff. My God. Outstanding. Now, what is this that's growing up in here? This is passion fruit right here. This really? is a vine. This vine's probably almost 20 years old. It's been here. Wow. And then you see all these, uh, they flower and then they throw out the fruits and then. Wow. And then when they're matured and ripe, they'll, they'll turn yellow and drop and fall. And then they're usually on the ground around here. They're probably a, maybe a week out and those ones right there will be done. Um, but the vine, the vine is like 20 years old, that stump right there. I'll try the inside of it, yeah. It's kind of tart though, it's definitely, a, you know, taste of the tropics for sure. It's like, I'll put it in your bowl here. Got some zing to it. This passion fruit is gorgeous. Look at that. I don't think I've ever had passion fruit like this before, or period. It's beautiful. Nice. How do you eat it? Just, Just the seeds on the inside, kind of break it free and then slip it down. Okay. Use my tongue? Yep. yep. Mmm, boy, it's nice and tart. Loosen it with your finger. Yeah, loosen it with your finger first and then... It's like an oyster. Yeah, exactly. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, if you've never had a passion fruit before, as I'm learning, like an oyster, <laughs> you loosen it up, use your finger, and then suck it down. Here, after you're done with that, I got some fresh oranges right here from the farm as well. Help yourself, yeah. Thank you. Mm. I'll put it right here on the table. Mm. The oranges are juicy too, amazing. That is really good. This is what you do when you come to Maui. Yes, you sir. hit the road to Hana, you stop by Coconut Willies, and you take a moment to actually enjoy what life's about. It's pretty sweet. From there, you'll come to Hana Farms a great roadside stand for fruits and vegetables and specialty food items. We saw you yesterday in one of the ABC stores. My son subscribed to you yesterday. Really awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, how funny. We all just ran into each other at ABC stores yesterday at the mall. Mahalo. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you for subscribing. And now we met up on the road to Hana. How cool is that? Small right? Island. Small Island. Yeah. Right? You guys having a good day? Yes, great. Awesome. And where are you from again? Jackson, Wyoming. Jackson, Wyoming. We're from Denver, Colorado. Oh, so you were right. Right. Yeah, we're out west. You'll also find a fantastic place for lunch, Bamboo Hale, an open air restaurant serving Hawaiian poo poo platters, lunch plates, and wood fired pizzas. We have another local treat, which is called Kalua pork. And basically, that is beautiful braised pork. Uh, shredded or pulled, if you will, uh, served with a bunch of accoutrement, in this case, pickled onions, pickles, jicama slaw, what looks like fresh parsley, Italian leaf, that is, grilled pineapple, barbecue sauce. I mean, does it get better than that? Pork is delicious. It is literally simply seasoned, salt and pepper, super moist, smoky, delicious goodness. The pork is what I'm after in the plate. I get everything else. This is a place to come for incredible Kahlua pork, awesome pizza. Amy, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, girl. When you get to Hana Town, it's time to check in. And the Hana Maui Resort is the place to stay in Hana. It is dramatic. Oceanside bungalows dot the coastline against emerald green grass and crashing waves. The resort is literally a manicured tropical masterpiece. The service, the check-in, 
super smooth. And then the icing on the cake are the lays and this beautiful, what looks like juice. Passion orange guava juice. Passion orange guava juice. Look at that. What a nice welcome. And then, I know you're supposed to put a lay on me, right? No, it's okay. I'll just, yeah, do it. Just do it. Is it bad luck if I do it myself, right? No, it's okay. She should give it to you, but. Sorry that I can't give it to you. <laughs> but you're okay to put it on. Yeah, she it's... might put this around my neck and pull a little too hard. <laughs> it's been a long ride. I think for my safety, I better do this one myself. <laughs> yeah, put it on yourself. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, guys, our stay's off to a great start. Let's check this place out. The resort's design is reminiscent of a tropical Hawaiian plantation with lush grounds and an array of flowers and trees that will take your breath away. As you walk the grounds, you'll find the most stunning swimming pool and hot tub. You'll also find tennis courts, a spa with fitness center and second pool, an art gallery, and a convenience store with everything from souvenirs and snacks to t-shirts and hats. The suite is luxurious with a separate living room and kitchenette area that opens to a romantic wow. master bedroom and an oversized bathroom with shower and tub, all of which opens to a balcony with panoramic views for the coastline. It's spectacular. Oh and there are mongoose running all over the place here. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And we brought some wine and some cheese, and we're going to have a little wine and cheese party at the pool. Yes. Because that's what you do here when you come to the Hanamali Resort is you just enjoy relaxation and feel like you really get away from it all. So we're gonna do that at the pool. Chilly, but functional. It actually feels really good. It feels nice. Wine and cheese me, darling. Well, I'm gonna do that for you. And we got this from our general store here in Hana. So we're gonna be having a Chardonnay this evening. Oh, don't you dare just put that through the foil. Oh, why would you not? Savage. Boy, it's like film 101. <laughs> just kidding. It's like opening a wine 101. Mm, <laughs> Touche. Yeah. Yeah, look I'm at you. I'm terrified of what you just did. <laughs> just can't go wrong with a little wine and cheese. Wine and cheese, yes. right? Yes. Kind of glamping a bit. And we almost have the place to ourselves. Almost. almost. Yeah. All right. So there we have it. We've got some cheese. We have some wine. Cheers. Cheers. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, look no further than the resort's neighboring restaurant, Hana Ranch Restaurant which sits prominently on a hill overlooking the resort and surrounding area, serving fresh farm-to-table cuisine in an open-air, Hawaiian-chic atmosphere. It's delicious. To start, Korean wings, a sweet, juicy, and sticky bite of chicken deliciousness. From the sea, king-size garlic prawns from Kauai, with shoestring zucchini and a fresh heirloom tomato sauce. Mm, salty, delicious, sea goodness, seasoned to perfection. This is a kind of shrimp that just, it's just delicious. And finally, the manly burger with bacon onion jam, brioche bun, and fries. Mmm. Awesome. So <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and of course, we caught the attention of a delightful yeah, group of women so dining next awesome. to us. What's your name? My name is Dana Darling. Hi, Dana. And my kids live here in Hana, and I visit all the time. So this is like great because the restaurant just opened up, and we're so excited because the food is so good. It is good. And of course, I always leave room for dessert. A delicious and enchanting evening that kept me on my toes. <laughs> if you're looking for something cool to do in Hana, check out 
Waiana Panapa State Park, where you can visit the black sand beach, crawl inside a lava tube, and get soaked by a blowhole. Wait till you guys see this. This black sand beach is incredible here in Hana Town. It is definitely something to see. We've been all over Hawaii. We've been to Oahu, we've been to Kauai, we've been to Maui. And this is the actual first black sand beach that we've seen and been to. Awesome. Really beautiful here, guys. Really, really cool. Now it's starting to rain, so we're hiding in the cave. A That's a little creepy. Oh, a Hold on. Wait, I need, I need my light. <laughs> Can you get through this? <laughs> oh. Hold on. doing it with a backpack on. Oh. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. That's a little tiny hole we crawl through to get in here. Ah! <laughs> and this water is definitely coming up in here there. So we are standing right here outside the famous blowhole here in Hana Town, and it looks awesome. It is awesome. And this experience is something you guys have to do. Literally, we were standing out here on the edge of the cliff and the blowhole blew and we got soaking wet. For lunch, head to nearby Koki Beach for the most delicious huli huli chicken stand you will find on the island. Ooh, it smells so good. Doesn't that smell good? Yes. Yeah, okay. Wow. Mmm. All right, so here is the combination plate, which you can see. And this has the huli huli chicken and the pork ribs. And would you look at that? That salad looks incredible. And then this is a macaroni salad, right? Potato macaroni salad. How incredible does that look? Wow. And the pulled pork with the cabbage. Holy smokes. All right, my friend Russell, thank you so much. Hello, Ooh, ladies, thank you. Thank you. Good to work. There's a lot of aloha here. We Mark and Amy. We're going to be eating good. Right on, Mark. We're going to be eating good. Let's chow down thank right you now. So we got a gazebo over there. Perfect. Perfect. Thank, thank you. Guys. All right, we are literally at the best huli huli stand for chicken in Hana Town. This huli huli stand is right on the water, as in right on the Pacific. You cannot miss it. And don't get this confused with any other huli huli chicken stand because Russell's huli huli chicken stand is right here on the water. And let's do a 360 with me just so you guys see and do not get confused because you need to come to this one because it is the best. So pay attention to the drive in guys. Let's go find a place to chill out and have our huli huli chicken. There's a whole lot of aloha that goes into this chicken with a little bit of mahalo and the mahalo comes after you pay for it. And a little bit of comeback sauce. And a little bit of comeback sauce. So this is something that you are gonna love and that you are gonna wanna come back for and we're about to experience it right now. So. We have, for starters, the pork and sauerkraut, and of course a Coca-Cola. If it was Pepsi, I'd really be considered Joe Crawford this week, wouldn't I? <laughs> so we are doing this. We've got incredibly beautiful 
succulent pulled pork and cabbage. Look at that. Gorgeous. It does not need any seasoning. It is salted and peppered to perfection. The pork just melts in your mouth. It is butter right in this container. And the cabbage is literally cooked to perfection. It's a delicious dish. This is the mommy dish. The huli huli chicken combination with pork ribs and deliciousness sauce on top. Look at that. This is why you come to Hana Town. And we're getting up in this chicken with my favorite part of the bird, the thigh. And this skin says, eat me. It is crispy. It is gorgeously golden. And you can see that this meat just has this beautiful smokiness to it. It smells incredible. I'm going in. There is no pretty way to eat this, but this is one hell of a hooly hooly chicken. I'd also be remiss if I didn't mention that that pork was so freaking good. That is Kahlua pork with the cabbage. It is the best Kahlua pork I've had on this trip so far. It is outstanding. What did you think? It was amazing. But we haven't had it with cabbage before, and that just added right. a whole it's other that. level of yum. It was good. And this macaroni salad, which is a Hawaiian thing, has potatoes in it. This is really good as well. Yum, everything here is delicious. Yum. Russell's Huli Huli Chicken at Koki Beach, literally on the beach in Hana Town. Don't miss it.